Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I know. If you've seen my first video, you already know who I am. Alright, so, uh, since all you've seen my first video on this topic, well, I just feel the need to just to delete it off. I know all of you've seen it and probably understand what I'm saying, but I don't know. I don't know if I should do it off or just leave it. But, anyways, there will be two parts of this. This will be a really long rant, but listen up. Listen up and clearly. I just saw Legend of Chung Lee. And I know most of you who are saying, what the fuck's wrong with you? We obviously know this movie was going to suck, so why do you go see it? Well, went, like uh, anybody who decides to go see this movie, I just want my curiosity to be set off. And pretty much, it's fucking horrible! Now, if you want to talk bad CGI, this movie has a lot of bad CGI. It was so bad that you actually think you must be watching some dude's poorly uh, CGI film on YouTube or videos that are just videos of trailers or videos of I don't know, just poorly CGI special effects. This movie has some of them. The explosions are just so fucking fake. The explosions are ridiculous. I mean, these people could not even afford to, like, explode some shit. I mean, they could not even explode anything. I mean, what was the whole point of... You know what? I'm not even going into that. Basically, like in my first video, I want to go into the characters of Legend of Chun Li. All right, the characters. Okay, I will say one thing. Since they only have six Street Fighter characters, and I mean six, since uh, they, I since this director kind of felt like there were like too many characters in John Claude Van Damme's movie. Pretty much, they felt like this. They wanted to kind of slow it down a bit, and hope. Well. Hopefully, if they make a sequel, they might do a little bit better. I'll find another director who can actually better give us a better taste of this whole entire Street Fighter, or what Street Fighter was supposed to look like. Now, basically, I'm going to go into the characters. Character number one, Chung Lee. Now, I gotta tell you, Kristen Curry is awesome. She is badass. She is, she is basically the only best thing in this movie. Or maybe the second best thing this whole entire movie has. Everything that she says is really... It's good dialogue. It's Basically, she has, like, the only good dialogue. And she seems to be, like, the only char character that seems to be likable. But, you know, there's a second character I do want to mention. Uh, okay. Even though she's not built like Chung Lee, at least... Well... At least some of the fight scenes with her are a lot more fun. A little bit fun. Like, I don't know, counting your toes fun, or throwing darts fun, or that type of thing. But, anyways, she's really good. Now on the bison. You know what I think this director was also trying to go to? Batman Begins and the Dark Knight. Making bison like that. It's ridiculous. It's so fucking ridiculous. So fucking ridiculous. You know, this guy playing bison ain't like Raul Julius's type of stuff, you know? Raul Julius had an awesome dialogue, even though it's... Oh, it's been said before. It's been done over and over again, but, you know... You know, this guy... He's just an asshole. He's not like an asshole like how Raul Julius was in like the John claude Van Damme movie, but he's just he's just an ass. 
he's just a freaking ass. Really, that's only the only part I hate. Wish he gets killed in a good way. Yes, Bison finally gets killed, which I'm not gonna, which I am gonna spoil. A bit. Uh, but I'm not gonna go into that just yet. Balrog. Okay. Now I remember his name this time. Balrog is a perfect choice. Balrog is an awesome choice, excellent choice. Michael Clark Duncan. I mean, if you look at Michael Clark Duncan, I mean, obviously they're gonna pick him. But you know, him getting killed off in this whole entire movie looked fucking ridiculous. Also, speaking of Balrog's fight, um, Jin. Now, Jen basically is sort of like the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the whole entire thing, the whole entire film. Basically, he trains Chung Li and to help help her um, do the uh, hyperwave thing that she does in the uh, video game and train her to be, well, sort of like him, somewhat like him. But, you know, he's also the second character I seem to like because they actually made him look like the character. Even though Robin Shu is kind of, still kind of young, and Jin was kind of, well, old, I didn't think, you know, he does a really good job. And I don't think he has lost his balls since he's a Mortal Kombat star and now he's joined Street Fighter. But, you know, Robin Shu. I, I, you basically are the only good character I seem to like in this whole entire movie. Now, Vega. Now, all you Vega fans are going to be really disappointed. Now, yes, Vega does not have brown hair. He doesn't have blonde hair. And he certainly ain't good looking or some shit like that. Or somehow like the character is supposed to be. But he's only in the whole entire film just... He's just a freaking... He's just a drag with Vega. You know, they just drag his character out just so poorly. And another thing he they just do is they just completely mess his character up. I mean, first he starts all badass and stuff, but then later, you know, he just comes out really poorly. And from that point, you're going to probably say to yourself, what the fuck? I mean, what the hell? I mean... If you remember that fight scene in the animation version, this version, with Chung Lee's apartment, it was a lot longer than the fight scene in this movie. This movie, that fight scene was just like a five minute disappointment. And it will be if you see it. Charlie Nash. Now, basically, there's been a lot of complaints about um, guns in this whole entire movie. And pretty much, Charlie Nash is like one of the characters that uses guns. Now, another thing, um, one thing about the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, they only use guns for, well, I guess they only use just to show off a few things, but, um, pretty much, they use guns an awful lot in this movie. Well, not an awful lot, just in some scenes. But, you know, Charlie Nash just used guns the whole entire scene. He doesn't fight people hand to hand. He just uses his gun. Just he just uses a gun. And the guy used to I actually was looking at other videos to check out this character and he uses he's a fighter, not like a guy who uses a gun and he he, he turned his character into a fucking agent. I mean what's the whole I mean wasn't Charlie Nash was in the exact same um character like, uh, Guile was, like, in the army, but instead they turned him into a freaking agent. Uh, they just turned him into a detective. I mean, what was the whole point of that? They even changed characters. Bison doesn't look... Bison's not in his outfit. Seeing how he gets killed off, you know, that's also some bullshit. Um, one character, I just gotta say, uh, what's with Maya? And that's being played by Moon Bloodgood's character. Um, the lady who's supposed to be on Terminator Salvation. Why even have her? Why even have Moon Bloodgood even in the movie? I mean, she doesn't have any... I mean, 
her and Charlie Nash don't seem to have any chemistry with each other, so why even have her in there? And most likely, all she does is just have like a few scenes when she's like shooting people, but she doesn't even fight people. I mean, why even have her? Look, I hope her character is even much better in Terminator Salvation. Alright, so I'm running out of time right now, so never see this one before you see part two, because I'm not quite done with this movie just yet.